Alrighty, what's going on y'all? So I just left the Goodwill Bins, stumbled across a pair of Jordan 4s, I believe the colorway is called like Pure Money, and those sell for a pretty good penny if they're in pretty good condition, but the ones I picked up, man, <laughs> are pretty beat, and so I picked these up for the sole purpose of trying to restore them, kind of show you guys maybe how good I can get them. The silver lining is they are size 10, my size, so I could end up keeping them once I'm done with them, but first up, I'm going to get them cleaned up and just kind of see how nice I can get them to look. Alrighty y'all, so here are those Jordan 4's Pure Money right here, and as you can see man, these things are really beat, missing like most of the paint on the sides right here, laces are basically shot, you got a little bit of life still left on the bottoms, but my plan is to first and foremost get the laces out of them, get the shoes cleaned up, put them in the washing machine, and then start the process of Painting some of the sides right here. Got like a lot of paint. I painted like a ton of shoes here just in the last couple of months. And like I said, silver lining is these are like a, a man size 10. So depending on how good I can get them, I may end up selling them, but I may end up keeping them as well. Just wanted to kind of show you guys the before before I kind of jump into seeing how nice I can get these to look. Alrighty y'all, so this is like the main thing I used on the shoes once I got them cleaned up. I used like this folk art multi-surface like paint right here. Really good on the shoes. So over the course of like the last couple of days once I got the shoes cleaned up, it's kind of like painting them in the evenings once I kind of got around to it. And again, I shot a video a while back kind of explaining like what my shoe cleaning process is. So once I got the shoes home, I just spot cleaned them, used like a magic eraser, some water laundry detergent, and then I kind of threw them in the washer. And once they got out, I let them dry, and then I started like the process of painting them over the course of a couple of days. And again, this isn't like a restoration channel. I'm not a professional restorer. I just kind of have some tactics to get the shoes back in what I like to call respectable condition. And so again, this is kind of like how they ended up turning out. But again, if you kind of look at those pictures, these shoes were in like terrible condition. Alrighty y'all, so there's a Burlington's that just opened up about a mile from my house. I believe the grand opening was like a week ago, but I missed it. Let's go in here, check it out. Like I said, I missed the grand opening. I wonder if they had like really good stuff in like the first couple of days. Got some RBX in like that Florida Gator colorway. 20 bucks. Bass and Company 270s right here. I almost thought that's what these were before I seen like the logo. like these Nike slides right here. Really good sellers. A great price for personal use, but I mean, to resell probably only like 35 bucks. So once you pay fees and stuff, I mean, you can make a few bucks, but definitely not what my business model is. Like some, some off-brand like 
Celtics fleece vest right here. I like 15. And a lot of like the Oregon Dove t-shirts. Again, a great price for personal, but I mean, definitely not going to get a whole lot of these. on these. Jacksonville Jaguars t-shirts. Like a Bucks hoodie at 30. It looks like you got like another one right here. Alrighty y'all, so that was the new Burlington's located right here in Gresham. Like I said, literally like a mile from my house and didn't really have a whole lot in there. Just the typical generic stuff that you guys normally see at the Burlington's that I shop at in Clackamas. But it is nice to kind of have one right by my house so I have to drive out there every single time. And I kind of wondered on like the first couple of days that they had like really good stuff. It was actually on my radar to go to the grand opening, but I thought it was this week. But it actually turned out that it was last week. So, but again... Glad that it's located pretty close so I can stop in here probably at least a couple times a week now. It looked like you got like this lightweight like USA Marathoner, like, like a hooded pullover. 17 bucks, and they do retail like 70. There's two of them here did some research. A lot of these listed, it looks like people are only selling them for like 30 bucks. So initially when I seen them, thought there was something here, but just not enough money to be made. You guys have been watching like Week to week, you probably remember the same Oregon Duck Salute to Service crew sweatshirt from like a couple of videos back. 35 bucks, and I think the one I seen here in that video was an XL. I was wishing that they had like a medium. So here it is. So I'm gonna grab this one right here for my personal collection. Got like some Nike trainers right here at like 40. Just did some research on these right here. Only going for probably like 60 to 70 bucks. on some Pumas. <laughs> a pair of these Air Max 90s right here that they just literally put on the shelves. like 60 bucks and always check like the size because that's the most important thing for me to kind of see what they are going for online so it looks like in this case there's like 10 size 13s listed but five sold within the last 90 days so these have like a a 50 percent sell through rate and again with the holidays being here i mean i feel like that's gonna just go up so even at 60 I'm gonna pick these up. I think people are selling these somewhere between like 120 and 140. So I think in this case you can easily probably double the money on these right here. Alrighty y'all, so not a lot of fines today. Picked up those two items inside of Ross. The Oregon Duck sweatshirt, definitely gonna keep that for the personal. Those Nike Air Max 90 should easily be able to double up right there. 
but I appreciate you guys for coming along with me and I'll catch you guys right back here on the next video. This might be all that I know. Think it's okay. I've got a long way to grow. At my own pace. Go the long way. No one taught me how to walk, but I figured it out fine.